CSS and uh, now we are going to repeat uh, uh, what we did in class so try to open uh, a data source the Excel file now um, you can see that you can click on this icon and look for the data set in this case it's saved here you have to choose the data uh, the type of data so in this case is Excel and you can visualize the files here is the uh, Sherwin Williams company file and we can open it and to open the data source um, SPSS asks you to specify the range of values that you want to use and so for example he, he proposes this range and we leave it and then we will modify the edit the data in SPSS now what happens is that you will get this screen with our data here it is you can see sales advertising price and income now uh, before moving on we need uh, to edit uh, this um, this data um, so I need to go on variable view and we need to change the type of data to numeric from string to numeric one two three and finally this variable is also numeric okay and now we can change also the name of the variables um, because the way we open the, the file it's not the correct name that we should have so remember that the first variable was sales then we have advertising then we have price and then we have income uh, variable 5 actually doesn't matter because it's not uh, um, we will go, go to cancel it's one extra column so we can go back to data view if you see the name of the variables changed as we said we can ignore variable 5 we are not going to use it uh, and we can now delete the columns uh, sorry the, the lines that we don't need the rows that we don't need Oops. We are left with our observation for sales, advertising, price and income as we said. And we have 10 observations for, for each of the variables. Okay, so now we can uh, um, start analyzing the data, the data ready for uh, analysis. And uh, um, as you see we can for example go to graphs and choose to do a scatter plot of, of the data a simple scatter and we can see um, for example if we want to do um, a scatter of we of uh, sales we can put y on the y axis the vertical axis and for example we can plot it against the, the price okay and so here we have y here we have P and if I push OK the output that you will see is the following you can see the graph with the scatter plot okay that is the so this first um, panel is the uh, SPSS um, the SPSS data and this is the output panel okay so you have your plot of price as a fun uh, of uh, sales as a function of the price all the points in the data set okay I'm gonna close this one for the moment we don't need to save unless you 
need to save it for your assignment and then the next step as we know um, could be to run actually regression uh, in that case we can um, go on uh, analyze regression and we can select linear we can choose the dependent variable would be sales and we do exactly the same thing we did before and between the independent variables for example if we want to run a simple regression we can put just the price and if I push OK that would show us the output that we have seen in the slides and that would be the final output of a regression of Y on P sales and the dependent variable is sales and the independent are is the price okay as you see there is the model summary with r square standard error of the estimate that we used there is a panel called the ANOVA and uh, finally there, there are the coefficients of the regression uh, the estimate the coefficients